What's up guys? Today on Back to the Basics, I'm gonna show you all the different ways to cut an onion. That's right, a good old onion. Let's do it. So, peeling, there's different ways. I'll show you my favorite way to do it and also what I've learned in cooking school. So except for onion rings, I always cut my onions half first because it makes it way easier to peel. So I go like this. So for example, if you're gonna do dice, I would suggest keeping the core on to keep your onion intact while you do the dicing. And if you're gonna do some julienne or some half moon, I would say take it off because then you end up like having all pieces stuck together. So what I do is I kind of like just do a V like this like this and then core is off and then you can peel it even easier sorry corn like this okay so now i have my half onion ready for slicing i have my half onion here with the core still attached for dicing and i also have a whole onion for rings first cut the most common i think is diced onion it's also the most satisfying one to wash for sure for this one, there's two ways to go. My way is to go across like this first and then two slices or more or less, whatever for depending on the size you need. Or people sometimes go like this first and then like this. You know, that's up to you. So I'll show you how I do it. Instead of like going like this now, I kind of like follow the onion like this. I go like that, 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 that. Kind of like do like a full like, just follow the whole shape of the onion, that makes sense. I'll do a fine dice for now. So I always start with the heel of the knife and try to go with one movement. So I go like this here. And then, oh, see? Good tip for you guys. See what's happening here? There's some sort of like uh, gray color on the onion. That's because I'm using a carbon knife, which you should be never using, to be honest, uh, for onions, because there's a reaction happening and then you get some stains on your onion, it's gonna become like gray, so. All right, so once you're done with the slices here, you just go ahead and cut some nice dices, see? And then when you get to this part here, you can either keep this for a stock, or to make it easier, you can just keep on going some more slices closer to the core, no more slice like this, and you can go around it. Okay, so there you go. That's your diced onion right there. Next up, onion rings. Like I said, the only times I can see myself cutting onion rings is for actually frying onion rings or for like onions for a burger. So if you're gonna do, let's say like onion rings, probably go and like do some rings, probably this, this thick, and then you can just separate your rings. And then there you go. Onion rings, onion vision, onion rings. Quick and easy. And then you can also, also do some fine Rings like this. For a burger. See, same thing, just thinner. Could also be nice like on a, on a little bagel with some lox, for example, with red onions. Okay, so there you go. Move it up. Now this one's kind of tricky because, you know, it's pretty much the same cut with different names. Only difference is the angle in which you cut the onion. So imagine half moon will be from top to bottom and then julienne would be from side to side, if that makes sense. So imagine the top of the onion being here and the cores in the back. So half moon will be like this. There you go, that's half moon. Half moon, makes sense? Half moon. Next up, like I said, only difference is instead of going from top to bottom, we're going from side to side, like this. Don't forget, cut the core first. Starting like this on an angle. And then, straight. At this point, what you can do is oh, flip it, uh, and then you start again. Perfect, see, not much difference. Half moon, Julian. Next up, we are increasing the level of difficulty here. We are going to make this next cut called the Brunoise. That's right, it's French. I'm gonna cut the core off again of this one. So don't forget, little V, this, V like that. And then I'm gonna start peeling the layers like this. 
So we peel the layers. Same thing as you did with the, the die center at first. I'm gonna go and like run some lines like this. You can also just kind of like go like this, super fine. And Julian. And then you put your Julian like this, and you just run your knife through it. So there you have it. Just a nicer and finer dice. See this? That's something you'll definitely see more in restaurants, uh, and you want to keep everything in the preparation. You want to make sure it's very, very small, so it's almost going to melt. And also, the smaller you get, you cut it, the more flavor you can extract from your vegetables. There you go, brunoise or fine dice. Okay, now petals. I feel like the best way to do it will be to cut the layers like this and then separate them. And like this, and this. And now I guess you just go like this. And then you can go like this. And here you go. The small petals, you can make some bigger ones. Again, kebab, this one's for you. So I really enjoyed making this video, guys. For me, it's like if I, you know, it's like I'm going back to culinary school, but you know, this time I'm bringing all of you guys with me. If there's anything else you guys want to see me show you in terms of basics, let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to give you my tricks and tips on the basics. And on that note, if you want to see more of those, make sure you go subscribe right here, wherever it is. Like the video, leave a comment, hit that bell, all that stuff. And today, I have nothing to troll, maybe except for an onion. So I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Call It Back to Basics.